Look, a nest. And the mother bird is going to feed the chicks. Tim, I think it's good to have someone in life that makes you feel cared for and wants the best for us. But sadly, not every child gets that. When Phyllis was studying to be a nurse, she always wanted to take care of sick children. Yes, Kim. She loved children so much. She not only cared about their physical health, but she wanted them to be happy and educated as well. But she couldn't help in that way until she started at home. Come on, Pendo. We have so much to do around here. Our next stop is the chicken coop to collect eggs for breakfast. Okay, okay. There is so much to be done today to take care of the children in the home. We better go get the eggs. Next, we need to go fetch the milk too and take it to the kitchen for the children's breakfast. Let's go, Pendo. Kim, look at the little calves cuddling with their mothers. They remind me of the children Phyllis met at the first place. They needed to be taken care of too. And when she met her husband Kipchoge Keino... Wait, the great marathoner Kipchoge Keino? Yes, him. When they got married, they knew they wanted to continue this work with their children. Sometimes people chose to adopt other children to be part of their family. Isn't that wonderful? Phyllis had two children, but she adopted three more and made them part of her family. Yes, Kim. Phyllis would farm and grow crops which she would sell to pay for the children's school fees. But with time she wanted to create a place where children who didn't have parents to care for them could stay and be safe and fed. That's right, Kim. And such a place is called an orphanage. And she built one. But with so many children to take care of, it was getting too small to feed them all. <laughs> 